Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot, doing a quick read for you. We're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread at the end. We're going to do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, etc. If any card repeats, I'll point that out in case there's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case there's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. I am congested. I apologize. So I, I sound a little funny. Um, so let's get right into this. Let's do your money spread with the uh, the tattoo tarot. So let's see here. What is on the bottom? Queen of Wands. Ooh. Are you feeling good about your financial situation or yes or no? I mean, um, if you are not doing well, people don't know. They think that you, like when people look at you, they think that you're very confident and that you have it all going on. So if your financial situation is not great, people can't tell by the way you look and act. Because you have the Queen of Wands on the bottom. This shows you like just exuding like magnetism and confidence and all that. Sex appeal, the whole bit. So let's see what financial situation though for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, folks. <clears throat> yeah, you're trying to be strong. Hold back. Um... You want to do things the right way, financially. You're going within and trying to look at all these. <laughs> okay, so in a 78-card deck, 22 cards are major arcana. The first three cards out are major arcana. This Your financial situation is a big deal right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you're trying to hold on to your money right now. Um, and you're at a crossroads in some way, shape, or form. I feel like whatever's... Whatever, okay, so I get that you're trying to have self-discipline right now and you're trying to hold yourself back um, and do things the right way. I get that. Um, and you're trying to hold on to your money. This is, you know, four of coins, four of pentacles is like holding on to the purse strings, wallet, whatever. But in the end, ten of cups energy, um, whatever's going on with your financial situation, it's going to turn out, um, you're going to be really, really happy. And it might even be a situation in which... Um, the money is so good as time goes on that you, if you want, if you want um, to get like married, if you're not already married, you know, if you're not already married, married, settle down the whole family and all that, that whole bit. If that's not your thing, um, just you're going to be extremely happy in the end with what's going on. But how long before, okay, so if things are not great, how long before they do turn around? Um, interestingly enough, it might be through a relationship. When I ask, I got the lover's card. So it might turn, if like if things are not great, they might turn around through a lover. So maybe a relationship is what's going to cause things to turn around if they're not doing well right now. All right, let's do your career reading with the Witch's Tarot. And on the bottom, Gemini. <laughs> You're giving off Leo energy. because, And the reason I say that is because Leos usually get a great reading from me. It's like they they could fall in horse poop and come up smelling like roses. Like their readings are always great. And yours, right now at least, is doing really well. I don't want to jinx it. But look at this. Nine of Cups. Like that's wish fulfillment energy. So your career. Like is it... I mean a lot of people right now are not happy with their career. So am I reading for those unicorn Geminis that just somehow magically have things going well right now for them let's see look at this the sun card and by the way that is a leo card <laughs> but so king of pentacles the full card jeez now here's some competition there's an argument maybe on the job um, I don't know if there's a disagreement or argument. Somebody like wants to one up at somebody fight. I don't know if it's a petty argument, but look at this. You're making money. Whatever it is you're doing, you are making the dough. So I like that. Wow. Okay. So Gemini, congratulations, because now you're the one who's getting the good reads because look at this. Ten of Pentacles. You got Ten of Cups in that one, Ten of Pentacles in this one. Look at this. Oh my God, this is like, um, what do they call it? Like empire type or um, legacy type wealth, um, building an empire kind of situation. So even if you don't work for yourself, whatever you're doing, 
it's going to pay off. It is going to pay off. Look at this. I like it. Yeah, you're making the money and it's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. And it started off with the Sun card. So things are growing. You have a reason to be happy. So, and King of Pentacles, man, the Fool. Now, this is you taking chances. So maybe that's what leads now. Taking chances that might involve um, competition in some way. But you're going to make the money and it's going to be a Ten of Pentacles situation. So that is nothing to complain about. Runic Tarot for your love portion. Oh, man. Okay, so some of y'all, this is interesting. They made the Nine of Swords look like a Ten of Swords because Ten of Swords is usually the card of being stabbed in the back and betrayed. But, and I mean, obviously Nine of Swords, you wouldn't be able to sleep if you had swords sticking out of you. So there's that. Um, so let's see what's going on with your love situation. So are you stressing out over things? Is somebody else stressing out over things? another 10 and it's the 10 of pentacles again before i speak on this king of cups the hangman things are stuck five of cups regret disappointment the magician um this could be an lgbtq relationship because i got the rainbow there whenever i get the rainbow that's my sign that it's it could be lgbtq relationship um the hierophant so is it, is it a long, so if you're dealing with somebody, if you've got some particular person in mind, is it a situation in which it's long-term a marriage or a long-term commitment? I gotta tell you, you are some lucky dogs because even if things feel stuck right now and there is disappointment, Hopefully this isn't somebody manipulating you, but look at this. You have the nine of cups. That's like wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. I mean, that is nice. So what is going on? So before I say that this is, um, cause I, I don't want to see you have rose colored glasses because if I got the magician here. So if somebody is trying to manipulate you and blow smoke up your butt, because nine and ten of cups, sometimes, you know, um, is, is my Gemini person seeing things clearly? Uh, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> but, but this is one heck of a star card. Look at this. This is the star card. <laughs> it's not what you would expect. Um... Is it you have to fight for this? What you look at that underneath is the sun, so you might have to fight, you know, for your growth and your healing and all that. You might have to fight for it, but in the end, you're gonna have control over things. If so, if you felt like you were out of control in a situation, you're gonna regain control, um, and things are gonna be happy. So, I like that. I like that. So, nine of cups actually doesn't seem like it's you being manipulated or um like love bombed or any of that stuff so i like that but things right now do feel stuck uh, my only concern is that you in the middle of this in the middle of this there's it's like someone may have tried to emotionally manipulate you make you feel stuck and feel regretful and be, feel disappointed And see, I clarified it with the lover's card. Because as soon as I looked at the magician, I thought, are they trying to manipulate? And I get the lover's card. So someone might try to manipulate. And there's the chariot again. And it's funny because the chariot card, this this is the true chariot card. But the sun card in this deck does look like a chariot card. So again, you're going to have control over things. All right. So let's do your general spread with... And that's interesting. I just said that you will have control over things. So have you felt like you, someone tried to take your power away? Maybe that's what, why I felt I to say that. All right. General spread. And then, oof. so there is a new start in love. I don't know if it's a, with a past person or a new person, but it's a new start in love. Look at this. 
So you got new love coming. And that's good. Good stuff. Wow. <laughs> okay. It could come with... It could be in the form of somebody who um, is all about the physical side of things, or at least in the beginning, because this is what they're going to offer you in the beginning. Ace of Wands, we know what that is, right? Um, Page of Swords, it could be somebody who, I don't know if they're gossipy or they're immature with their communication or they just like to spy. Um, someone who's very intense. You're going to go through big transformations. Now, somebody is spying on you, but um, you're going to go through big transformations, like big transformations, and it's probably going to involve you walking away from someone or something to make it happen and being single. All right, there it is. So, three of wands. Damn, I don't like this three of wands energy. Here's the thing. If you have put, some, if you have put something in motion, then it's just a matter of you waiting for things to work out for you. If, But if it's, a, if it's somebody keeping you on hold i'm gonna have to say don't let somebody do that because look at this the three of wands in the bottom i don't like that look you're you're just you're waiting you're looking like you're just waiting and waiting and you're bored i don't like that so hopefully that's not the situation um but new love come in offering this <laughs> regardless of gender it's you know it's basically the sex card um there's some spying going on there's an ending and a walking away and being single. And maybe that's what brings the new love in is like, if even if it's from a past person, maybe you have to walk away from them. Maybe you got to get away from them for them to realize your worth. So there's that. If, okay. So if you're dealing, oh man, I did this so fast. We're already 12 minutes. <laughs> I literally did it that quick. That was the fastest read ever. All right. So we're going to use the radio wise tarot <laughs> to do the, the uh, all signs portion. Um, are you dealing with somebody who's defensive? Is that what's going on? Or somebody who likes to block or fight off competition? And they're competitive? All right. If you're dealing with the Aries, let's see what the Aries is doing. What's going on with the Aries? This is literally the fastest I've, I've ever done a read. Like, this is a full read. <laughs> um, wow, they're bitchy. They're staying to themselves. They're bitchy. They've got some sharp words for you. And they're just, they're staying to themselves and looking for answers. The Taurus is, um, man, they're a little bit manipulative and impulsive. What are they? Because uh, they have trust issues. Um, so the Taurus has trust issues. The Gemini, if you're dealing with a fellow Gemini, they're going to come rushing in because they feel like you two are karmic. Like you're meant to be together. Cancer, they're going to offer you love. They feel like you're their happily ever after. The Leo is waiting on you, that, but they feel like things are done. Maybe they're done waiting. The Virgo is feeling regretful and focusing on what went wrong. Of course they're focusing on what went wrong. <laughs> That's what they do. Um, and then, But they want commitment. That's interesting. Libra wants to... <laughs> okay. I was going to say they want to reunite and... Do they want to reunite and be single? Is that what they do? Do they want to reunite but be single? Or is it they just want to party like a rock star and be single? I'm not sure. You know your situation and you know your person. If you're dealing with a Libra, are they, do they want to reunite with you and still act single or be single? Is that, isn't that like having their cake and eating it too? Uh, Scorpio is a player who loves you. <laughs> so this... this Scorpio player really loves you. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Sagittarius, um, they feel heartbroken. They may want to come to you. Maybe maybe they want to travel to you. They feel like it's like the distance. Maybe the distance is heartbreaking. Capricorn is horny and spying. <laughs> Aquarius feels like things are done and they're looking at their options. And then Pisces is, um, they have a lot of fears. They have a lot of insecurities. They also have secrets, um, and they're focused on their money. So, with that said, <laughs> fastest read ever. All right, thank you, Gemini. Thank you, love you, and I will see you all in the next one. If it resonated, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. All right, love you, bye.